What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are playing an Esper midrange deck in Standard. Uh, this was a, probably a deck that went 5-0 in a league or one that top 32'd a challenge my, on Magic Online. Uh, looks like we have two for... I'm pretty sure these are all creatures. It's, it's a, a mono creature deck. So we're running four Thalia. Two Phyrexian Missionaries, which is pretty sweet. Uh, two the Raven Man. Four Denic Pious Apparition. And I assume you can have... No, you can't. Uh, yes, you can have one on the front side, one on the back side at the same time. So that's kind of cool. Uh, f two Elias Elcor Sadistic Pilgrim. Three Gix. Uh, four Rafines. And four Toulouse Clever Conductors. This is the hottest part of my day. I'm glad. I'm glad. Also, this is a uh, a lot of legendary creatures. Legendary, 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 not legendary. And then we have three Shieldred, three Urtai, and one AO, the Dawn Sky. Uh, we also have three Igonjo, three Otawara, one Takanuma, and then your usual set of lands. Three Atacars, three Caves, four Shattered Sanctum, three Shipwreck Marsh. Uh, four of Fiends Tower and four Plaza of Heroes. Plaza of Heroes being MVP because all the legendary creatures, obviously. It's basically just like a cavern of souls for legendary creatures. It's a bad example. They can be countered, but you get the point. Sideboard, we have Disdainful Stroke, Make Disappear, Go for the Throat, Cut Down, three Lauren of the Third Path, and two Temporary Lockdowns. So a lot of spells that are not in the main deck are in the sideboard. So, yeah, let's... Uh, this deck fascinates me, and I like all the cards in it. I think they're cool. So let's see what it does. Let's go to what? Traditional event standard. Didn't we? Didn't we finish this? What? <laughs> Resume your thing. Just kidding. Start a new one. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's choose our deck. We will choose Esper Midrange. We will submit our deck. We will play our deck. What is the deck trying to do? I don't, I don't know. Play creatures and win the game? Whenever you ask what the deck's trying to do, just answer with win the game. And you'll never be wrong. Uh, thank yeah, you! Yeah, this seems good. I can cast all my things. Sawyer84, thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. So I don't love starting with an Igonjo because I don't, you know, this is the most versatile card in our deck. Like, the lands are some of the most versatile cards in that they can do two things. But it does prevent us... I'm going to start with Atacar Wastes. Yeah. We definitely want to have a blue source. So we can start with Atacar Wastes, and then if we draw something that comes into play on tap that doesn't deal us damage, we'll just play that instead. But I don't want to play Denik and also... Take two damage, so I don't know. I guess he has lifelink, so it might not matter too much. It might just be better to keep this in hand. This has lifelink, and so does this. And there's another one. Yeah, we're just going to take the two. <laughs> Auto pay, because it doesn't matter. Robots are cool. Oh, there's, there's Shioldi. Look at that, it's like we didn't take any damage at all. 2-3. Uh, I think we're just playing Raven Man here. That's not it. No. This guy. Yeah, auto pay, man. What do we have that makes them discard, though? Maybe we're just hoping they cycle a... Jun? No, it's not. Oh, they're, they're just playing some attracts and nonsense, I assume. I don't know if this deck has counter spells, but you got it. Pre combat Gix, because I want to draw cards.
sure. I did not draw any cards, unfortunately. What is this on the Raven man over here? Can't be targeted? Yeah, sure. How nice. Sounds good. So what does this do on his backside? Three, two, whenever one or more cards in your graveyard from anywhere, put in your spell that triggers once each turn. If we'll be putting a graveyard in your exile instead, sure, it's just a three, two. Reckoner, Kami War, and Jet Mirror. That's it. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> oh, Christ. Is this card um, going to be too good? Probably. Probably. In response, I will go for the throat. Yeah, I don't want to take two damage. Yeah, well, maybe have another tracks, I guess. This is the client with no Boros Reckoner. Yep. Yeah, we're just we're just done here. Like, there's no there's no way we're beating this nonsense. Uh, counter spell must be two. Disdainful stroke seems great against them. So I'm wondering if we take out Thalia. I don't. If a player discarded a card, oh, he's good with connive. Get it, get it. I think I'm gonna take out at least one of these guys. That's gives me five slots. Disdainful. Two goes. Actually. Probably one more card we can take out. We also have Urtai Resurrected for countering purposes. keep tapped unless you control two or more other lands I do not so that's unfortunate but oh my god for some reason I thought that was the other one that's so bad yep should have just played that in the other order I for some reason I thought this was uh, deserted beach so I was like oh cool we'll just play that and then Is there a beach that was called? Yeah, we could have been attacking with our Denic. Our Denic. Okay, 
So whenever you attack, target attacking creature can have X for X number of target attacking creatures. Let's pitch one Denik. Let's play one Denik. That's really obnoxious. Um, I think I'd rather just keep mana up here. Do we need another white? No, we have plenty of white, plenty of blue, and plenty of black, so. Yeah, I'm before my thing. What are these cards you're bringing up here? Fascinating. So, I assume you have Strangle, so I'm not going to block. Sure. Dude, this is super obnoxious. I mean, it's still two for one. Like, it doesn't feel great. Plus, it leaves us open to a track so when they finally have it. Oh, what? Oh, whenever one of our creature cards are putting over from anywhere. Nice. Okay. I was like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, the card the card we played, that's how you get it. Sure. Should have sequenced that better. Jesus Christ. Everyone is discovering slowly why I am usually not a fan of standard. What's the next one? Returns one on the from his owner's hand, then each one discards a card. Yep, so we'll keep the Attic card wastes in hand. Sick might, bro. Alright. Remember attacks, defending players, just an only trying to crack your hand, it gets plus two. Yeah, that's pretty good. That card's pretty good too. Where Oh god, what did I hit? Yeah, okay.
All right, I mean, they're at four. That's pretty good. That's fine. Are any of these answers? None at instant speed. Okay, so you die. So you die. <laughs> okay, I don't. The triggers are on the stack. Sure. That doesn't make the trigger go away, so I don't know why we're doing this, but. Okay. I deal with Blue Sun's Twilight where they just steal my creatures. That feels terrible. Don't love it. What up, Shinala? Uh, let's start with this guy. I'll keep this hand. Oh, a land. Actually, we have one, two, three. We have five lands. I'm pretty sure it's almost better to... to save this to cycle. Yeah, I feel much better about the decisions. You got it. I will take action. You know, like you do. You know, that's neat because I have another one. another one and another one get him oh ley line binding got it Interesting. The old main phase bank buster, eh? Seems fine. Watch, they're going to steal my Gix, and I'm just going to bounce it. Go for the throat. I kind of want to bounce it here.
Hmm. Let's pretty much start attacking a blocking creature. Sure. Still got disdainful strokes, so that's cool. How they're really like trying to prevent me from drawing cards here. Yeah, I, I'm hoping they try to burn down the house and then we can just disdainful stroke and then draw some cards and deal them damage. That's literally what I wanted you to do. That is so correct that. Jesus, every fucking... They've only dealt with Gix five times, so that's interesting. Oh good, they drew another Retraxa. Fantastic. Yep. Wonderful. Fantastic. <laughs> yes, burning down the house was a real a real card, and I did. Oh, well, it's burned down the house, but you know, half of one, six dozen of another. Seems good. Multiples of everything. Can't block. This guy can't block. Not attacking. That's big. That's a bigger difference, I guess. I'll just take twelve, I guess. Wow. Got a nice little bird army here. Target legendary creature gains hexproof and indestructible. Fashionably late to that party. No 
attacks and then the turn. Not sure how we get out of this one. One, two, three, we can protect our Raven Man. I do kind of like that. Exhausting. Atraxa is, in fact, an actual card in standard. They can't block? Fantastic. Well, that deck seems like the deck to beat in standard. I'm almost regretting buying like five Atraxes, one for the cube, because I don't think they're gonna... <laughs> that card does not seem like it's gonna last long in standard. It's like Niv Mizzet Reborn, only significantly better on the battlefield likely draws you more cards, has better stats, and is easier to cast. So, you know, identical, basically. Another attracts the deck, I presume. This time they're going to reanimate. Well, considering it's like 11 p.m., Michael is in bed, sleeping, because he has a job. Hey, look, a portal to Phyrexia. Uh, I mean, I don't care if you can unearth this guy. I'm not going to just take a million. And then we're going to play this guy. I see what's going on with the four Thalias and four Denix here. I'm on board. No? Okay. Did Michael move to you? I mean, we haven't moved since... I mean, I've been living in Colorado for the past three years. And Michael moved then. So, yes? I think... take all the actions in the world. Um, we're going to play Rafine's Tower here. My mana base feels so terrible without having these and these in Borderless. It's just not pleasant. <laughs> Fascinating. Unfortunate, but fascinating. Well, they're definitely going to reanimate this. Can I look at another track, so at the beginning of upkeep, put target creature card from rebound on the battlefield under control. It's a Phyrexian addition to five times. <laughs> the beginning of your end step? The beginning of your upkeep. Okay. Each one of sacrifices three creatures. Good fucking lord. Whenever you discard one or more cards, exile them from your graveyard. Oh, Christ. Uh, 
That doesn't do anything. Uh, I guess we'll just go another add a car. I'll play this, presuming you're going to be able to reanimate your portal to Phyrexia here. Yep. Five mana plus the one from Thalia. I sack all my permanents. Fingers crossed that AO hits something to give us another give us another board. Remember that time we drove from Utah to Colorado in the middle of winter during a pandemic? I do. That was actually such an easy drive, though. So, yep, yeah, cool. Oh, just an Atraxa. Is that all? Jesus. Every deck in this format has Atraxa and Fable of the Mirror Breaker now. It's just... It's just ubiquitous. I mean, I guess we bounce it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we kill them. Draw a card every step of the way. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. So, this feels like disdainful stroke time. I don't care about missionaries. Lauren could definitely be decent against their... Whenever another creature enters battlefield, gain a life. Whenever another creature... I don't care about this guy either. Lauren seems better there. To lose is cute, but probably not. I mean, we mostly want to counter the reanimate spells. You heard it here first. You heard it here, missionaries. Frank doesn't care. Hey, listen. That's true. Womp womp. One, two, three. We can play. Yeah, this is a keeper. I think this deck is better than I initially thought, but I think I felt pretty oppressed by the five color Atraxa deck. Hmm. Fascinating. What are we discarding here? Questions, questions. Uh, probably this guy. What do they got for four mana? Big, oh yeah, big score. Atraxa and the pooper. So what is what does this say? If you sacrifice a creature with power one or greater, copy it. Okay. We also have... Urtai. Uh, you have lifelink, so I'm actually going to choose you. Discard a Lauren. I think it's just discard Shattered Sanctum here. Maybe you should put a tractor in your deck. <laughs> Similar to a Traxa. I feel like we're actually in decent shape with Urtai. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I honestly don't care about that. Although we could play Urtai here and just put another body on the board. That feels correct. But they do have four more mana. Did they play a land this turn? Is there a way to know? There's no game log, so I have no idea if they played a land. They went first, and they have five. I've played a land every turn, so I'm assuming no. Q 
counter this, yeah, counter this guy. Shut up and take my money. Oh, I guess they have another one. Oh, Traxa, Frank, come on, you gotta put me in the game. I can do it. We'll win states for, for sure. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, discard a Rafine. I'm just gonna discard to lose. Probably add a car. Actually, no, we'll discard Rafine's tower because we want to be able to play a land this turn. Sure. Okay, so now we have Make Disappear for four if we really want to. Mm. Okay, fascinating. Oh, we just won the game. Wow. Okay. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. What's the scariest thing to read in Braille? Do not touch. Oh, God. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Because it's too late. Radioactive would also be pretty scary, yeah. Biological contaminant. Watch out for the escaped gorilla. Solid. Uh, I guess we'll keep this hand. We need another black source to play Gix. One thing I really love is this Streets of New Capenna theme music. It's literally in my head constantly. I think that's... This, like, style of dark jazz is really, really appealing to me. If anyone knows who did the Streets of New Capenna theme music that we're hearing right now, let me know. If you guys can find it, let me know. Wow. Instant go for the throat. They went for my throat. Plaza of Heroes was a fantastic draw there. Oh, do I just get a do I get a draw? No, of course not. That would be that would be silly. Um, I think I do want to. I want to keep the Odawara more than I want to keep the other one. <laughs> Dark Chaz is probably generated by AI. Fuck, too real. Oh Jesus Christ! Come on, dude. This is obnoxious. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people touch me. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? I don't mind if any colors from this man only Yeah, so we can just do colorless, right? Oh, you gotta make me discard. Consider yourself fortunate. Drop it. Discard a card, huh? Sure. Destroy a creature or planeswalker. So we can actually play this, kill this, and then kill one of these two. Is that any good? Hmm. 
I mean, I just felt like shielder is probably a better choice here. I have no idea. I guess they're getting rid of oh no they're not they they plus oh they proliferated and wow this is really good <sighs> sacrifices must be made wow i'm feeling really behind right now wow this was very good drown and Icar proliferating on both your planeswalkers being able to keep liliana alive is fucking insane Yeah, maybe I should have just killed, like, Soren last turn. Interesting. So they're just Happy playing to this help, to kill my Urtai. Fascinating. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Do -ding -ding. Bing, do -ding -ding -ding. Like, if they don't have an answer for shoulder, I would be absolutely shocked with six cards in their hand. Okie dokie. <laughs> what? I'm done here. Oh, because of the proliferate. Ha 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 ha. Oh well. Mike, appreciate it, buddy. I'll take a look. Just three Lilianas or two? Two Lilianas and two Sorens. And two go for the threats and two Dranicker. Your 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 graveyard is literally four two ofs. That's insane. Every deck. Every deck. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Yes. Yeah, I feel like this deck has a significant disadvantage by not having spells in it. <laughs> Why does it look like this? What is it, treasure? Why does it look like this? Oh, God. I think I'm just done here. Okay, so they got Planeswalkers. They got PWs. P dubs. Uh, I don't think we care about go for the throat. I think we want make disappear. Again, this guy does not seem exciting. Toulouse just draws you cards, basically. Which is fine, right? But we don't need four of them. Let's go double stroke, double disappear. Get that double stroke on. Keep. Ha 
<laughs> nice. Literal no spells. Raven Man. Have you seen the Raven Man? You got it. Something suspicious is going on. And for once, <laughs> haven't you ever heard of personal space? I will get rid of an Atacar Wastes. Which should be nice Liliana protection oh, in the future. That's my cue to leave. They're like, let me read this card. Okay. Wow, that was a significantly different game. Almost makes you wish you had more Raven men. Natural ones. Thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. So this is a a decent hand. Plaza of Heroes. That's a that's a banger. Come on, dress me again. Play him as a Raven Man. It's a solid reference. Them being on the play is great, though. They can play. We can play one guy. They play Liliana and kill our guy. And then we really have to, like, play catch-up. Mmm, catch-up. So what do we have? We have Rafine and Toulouse. And I don't connive. Whenever I discard one or more cards, exile them from your graveyard. I guess we'll play land first. So now they're gonna play Liliana. Make a sack. You know it would be maybe tonight better if someone bought some dinosaur bones on stream. <laughs> Just, I agree. I think that makes most nights better, to be honest with you. I did some digging, found a couple of YouTube videos from MCGA Ambience and MT shows TV. None of um, Mike already found it. Mike posted this to me. I guess I'll sack a creature. That's better than a Liliana, because it doesn't stick around, you know? And now we're going to play Sheoldi. Good times, great oldies. Wow, they're just doubling up. This is fascinating. Draw your card. Then draw two from your Fable. Oh, of course not. What was I thinking? Heaven forbid you did not have a move one hand. For some reason at the bottom it says, do the instrumentals really need to be here? Could they at least be moved to the end of the list? I don't know what this is if not all instrumental. Like, is it people singing? Oh my god, I literally forgot these were not legendary. That you can have multiple sagas. Wow, that's weird. Okay, they have no cards in hand. For knowledge, a fair trade. No good. So just to be clear, this uh, transforms my AO, the Dawn Sky, so it doesn't actually die. That sounds great. My ways are not for the weak. Fantastic. Cool. So if I bounce this, I get the guy back, right? Sweet. Awesome. Having a good time. Yeah. 
you know, let's make a bunch of fucking five and six mana dragons that all do cool shit when they die, and then let's make sure that none of the removal actually kills them. It just exiles them and transforms them into things. Good idea. So, yeah, they can kill whatever we play, and then they attack for eight. Sweet. You know what? Sure. Fuck. <laughs> That's not what we're looking for. I guess we can go three drop, four drop, two things. Oh, there we go. Good times, great oldies. Yeah, I mean, I've always thought Standard was basically Haymaker into Haymaker into Haymaker, but I do feel like it's increasing. Cool. Sounds good. Yep. That's okay, we'll draw a way to kill that guy. Just kidding, there are no ways to kill that guy. If you attack with two more creatures this turn, draw a card of the ice cream, one, one. Oh, it's your little mite boy. God, fucking rare. Fucking mythics, dude. Fucking legendaries. Uh. This is cost two. Self? Flying? Fascinating. Uh, we're gonna get rid of other pious man. Oh, 
Let's see. Unfortunate. Having another Gix? Priceless. So I'm drawing a card if... If you block, I get to investigate. If you don't block, I get to draw the card naturally. So you choose how you want that card to get in my hand. Sounds good. because you don't have any way to get rid of these guys like once they're on the board it's like okay well that's a permanent removal spell i guess hmm fascinating I might just bounce the Brutal Cathar if I can get in with both these guys. Because this is draw two. Oh, no. Wait. Can you do that? I don't think so. It's not a color. What? <laughs> it's not a blue card. <laughs> That's not how that works at all. Got Gixes for days. Get to draw two more cards? Seriously? What in the earth, man? What does this dude do? Discard X cards, X all the top X of a front slab where you can play lands and cast spells from among them. Do I just do that? I discard five and just get to play all your stuff for free? That just seems fun, right? I mean, I'm not losing anything really valuable. X equals five, yeah. Uh, not target opponent, you. One, two, three, four, five.
And we get to investigate like three times. So that's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> select a card to play or cast. Target a basic land you control. I will target this... Oh, basic land? I guess we have to target theirs. Ossification. We'll get rid of this guy. Brutal Cathar, get rid of this guy. You're really a creature card with mana three or less? That actually isn't irrelevant. Yeah, all right, that seemed good. <laughs> I don't think they have a sweeper. Okay, and they're at five, so really the risk is low. Okay, so now we'll take out Missionary again. Take out two Thalias. This guy seems good in this matchup. You seem not great. Uh, let's bring in, go for the throat, cut down. And then we get one more card. Lauren seems good. I'll bring in two. Probably cut another to lose. What do we have to lose? <laughs> oh, I might just make that the fucking <laughs> video title. Get wrecked, nerds. Don't. See, that's disrespectful. You're being disrespectful to missionaries right now. I'll keep seven. Put it on a Skrelv. Skrelv? Put it on the Skrelv. You know? You know what I'm saying? The problem is we can't cast this and also cast Denik on turn two. So we're just gonna leave with this. I don't really care if this is, this is fine. Maybe it's not fine. Maybe we should get rid of it. I don't know. Oh, I guess we have Lauren. It's another creature. Another target creature. Oh, we can just Lauren it on turn three. That's exciting. When does this flip? Transform, I have three more creatures, different powers. So they have one power. You got it. So we can cut down and then also play this guy. That seems good. Oh, I guess we wanted to... We don't want to cut this down, though. We just wanted Lauren that thing. So maybe we should play Lauren this turn. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. <laughs> oh, it did get me. That's fun. That's good times. Wonderful. Fantastic. Yeah, that should have been Lauren last turn. Okie dokie. That's... Sure, I'll just block. Yeah, I'll give it protection. I mean, this just gains me two and you lose. I take two. That seems fine. I feel like we're gonna have to play Takanuma at some point. What are you Takanuma about? Who are you taking? Wow, that's rude. Pass two attackers. 
cut them down. That felt like a good combat. Gotti. I wonder what Lauren th thought was wrong with our first two paths. You know, it's hard to say. That card's gonna be a problem. Well, I guess we do have that. Wow. How do we deal with that? Holy shit. Cancel that. Oh my god. Go for the throats, please. Oh my god. Yes. No, that's not what we want. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep. Go for the throat off the top one time. Papa needs his throats. Total power and toughness five or less, huh? Nope, doesn't fit that bell. Do you get unblockable? Hexproof and indestructible, huh? Okie dokie. We're just gonna pass here. Watch him play a second one. Jesus. Yeah, that's fine. All of this is just fine. Okay, that's pretty good. Why wouldn't you cast it with Plaza of Heroes? That's fascinating. This gives us a clock, at least. I'm confused why you wouldn't cast with Plaza of Heroes. So that if they have Brutal Cathar... Oh yeah, they're gonna do that twice for sure. Yep, still like to kill that guy, but I can't. So that's unfortunate. Hmm. They did not do anything, though, so that's good. Yes, that's fine. Well, this is a game. This is an interesting, interesting game. Oh yeah, I'll gain two, you lose two? Deal. Also, the more cards we have, the the better the odds of actually activating Gix here. Uh, look at Tarwin's hand and choose an A card name. Sure. Seems good. Fascinating. Guess we'll take seven. None of my creatures do anything, right? Hmm, that's interesting. Well, we can play this. Let's see what this does. Obviously we're bouncing the intrepid adversary.
So six mana still. So we can keep up cut down until the Intrepid Adversary comes into play. And then hit it. That seems good. Also attracts, or uh, not attracts, but Shieldred's, not, <laughs> Gix's ability is back online, so that's pretty good. Yep, that's a clock, but mm, not as much as you'd think, right? 3-1? Sounds good. I feel like you gotta attack with one here, right? This guy have lifelink? No, okay. And cycle this. How do we make them draw cards, you know? That's what we want to do. One, two, three, four. So we do we shouldered for seven here? We get rid of one Gix. Or not shoulder, Gix for seven. And discard five. These are these are the words I'm I'm meaning to meaning to say. Sure, why not? It worked last time, right? Give him a good Gixon. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Gix has proven really, really good in this matchup in, in this in this deck. Oh, discard! It's waiting on me. <laughs> I was like, "What? What's the hold up here?" <laughs> um, yes, correct. I'm like, "What are they waiting for? Are they gonna respond?" Oh. Oh, I see. Interesting. Recruitment. Recruitment. This. This. Credit to Samurai, or let's put a 1-1 one, one counter. So she goes up to 4? That's not exciting, right? Why isn't there a tapped creature on the battlefield? Created 2-2 two, two White Samurai. Yeah, that's fine. I'd rather make a guy here. Like, when they're at, they're going to five on their turn, and they don't have they have lifelink here, but that's it. I mean, I kind of feel like they also have to attack the Wanderer with one of the Phyrexian Vindicators, or now they give now now they give Lauren Vigilance or Flying rather. No. Interesting. So they block the two biggest guys. See you later. And they take two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think they're dead. Actually, they have four guys. And now they're at eight. So they're not they're not dead anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can activate this twice. Yeah, that's pretty good. That was a fucking hell of a draw. So they have four blockers. They go block, 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 block. They take four. Interesting. I think we might... No, I don't think we win. One hit. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, yep, full full value. Full, full beautiful value. Uh, beginning of combat, give a dude float, vigilance, or lifelink. Doesn't matter. I'll give you flying. Doesn't really matter. They have so much flying. 
I mean, that was a good trade for an out of car wastes. So, you know. Go to six. Yep. Steel Seraph. Very good. Very good. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to click on either of these. That was an accident. Yeah, I'm sure they're giving this guy vigilance. Yes, correct. No blocks. Without gaining life here, they're going to go to four on their turn. This is fascinating. So again, they have five guys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys. Two guys are going to get through, and they would be the smallest two. But their intrepid adversary is going to gain them three. So they're actually at nine. Might just be the play to attack anyway. God, I really I, I hate the rope. Okay, so we have we attack one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two guys are getting through. It'd be the two smallest guys. We can rafine one of them, making this the smallest guy. They take five. They go to four. I don't think I don't think attacking here is the play. Because then they go to two, and they've pretty much decimated our board at that point. Sure. <sighs> Lifelink, I guess. It doesn't matter. We're not attacking here. If one of our guys had trample, we'd, we'd have a different story, but... Because then we can actually attack with everything. <laughs> uh, okay, well. Plaza of Heroes, do your job. That seems good. Holy fuck, really? Oh my god. This is gonna do it, right? <laughs> Thalia because we have protection times a million? Exile a creature and opponent controls until this leaves the battlefield. I'm gonna let this resolve. I don't think I don't think Thalia is the card we want to play it on. Oh, did this transform? Oh god, that's annoying. Sure. Cut down cost three. And you have two creatures that it does not affect. Okay, that's fine. No, don't I guess that's Obnoxious, but fine. These are some good top decks, man. Four four cards in a row, huh? No, do not fucking use the one card. 
That gives us protection, please. Hmm. Well, this is an interesting game. I did not expect them to just top tech 3 3 3 3 5 4 after their farewell when they're at 4 life, but. It is what it is. Oof. So we're gonna go, oh yeah, this is gonna be nice. One, two, three, four. Just getting in there, huh? Interesting. They don't know I have that, so that was a very interesting decision. Sure. That's annoying. Okay. Oh, I guess I always forget these don't do it if they don't. This might be the game. Mm, I guess we have to draw well. Actually, maybe we don't. Ooh, Urtai seems fantastic here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. We're actually missing a land that we can't do both of these things. Oh, they just died a shielded, right? Yeah, this is game. Okay. God, shoulder's a hell of a magic card. Are we 2-2? Two, two? Seems like it. Looking for that sweet 3-2. That's what Father likes. Oh, what up, Dennis? Uh, this seems like a snapperino. You know, I'm no expert, but. Oh, the old, the old Rafine's Tower Mirror match, I see. A classic. Oh, Shattered Sanctum, eh? Island? Thalia feels like it might be better against this deck because they're probably playing a lot of things. By things, I mean spells. And that seems to be correct based on what just happened. Oh, sounds good. God, we're very good at this game. Apparently Thalia is an absolute beating. <laughs> I want to again take two of these guys out. Two of these guys out. Bring in... Two Disdain and two Make Disappear. Counterspells have to be better, right? A boom do 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 So, yeah, okay. I 
Man, I feel like um, Thalia is so good against them. to play this but we can also keep up disdainful stroke because i don't think it's just it's just run out missionary that doesn't seem great right especially if they play like a planeswalker we'll be like soren i'm gonna be like oh no okay they didn't do that i guess well no fourth land so that's unfortunate we have two urtai and a shielder in our hand, but... You got it. This is actually fine. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. They're tapped out. I think we gotta just try to drop Shieldred here. And if they don't have an answer right now, like, we just get to keep up Urtai and Disdainful Stroke. I don't know if that's good. They're probably gonna kill it, I'm sure, but... Yeah. But, I mean, all these proliferate spells that are, like... Oh, they're just two for one themselves. That's perfect. I do not mind that. That don't impress me much, as your girl, Shania, would say. Is that all four of them? Holy shit. One, two... No, I guess that's number three. That's so many. I do like that. It lets us do two things. Four, five, six. Yeah, let's just kick this and get back Phyrexian Oblit. Sure. I now have one poison counter. Wait, what? Ha <laughs> ha! Denik, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you old so and so, you. Wow. Interesting. I'm at three now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just going to keep up two counter spells. Fascinating. Wish that guy had flash. That would be sweet. He does not. pretty good. Huh. Urtai being uh, a removal spell that does not care about them untapping is nice. Sure. So they have two mana. Interesting.
Three mana, two mana. Pick your poison. Dokie. I think we just have to keep mana up. You got it. Missionary, I feel like I'm it's actually the, the one thing doing some work. However, the one time we literally cast it with Kicker is the one time we had a Denic out and just didn't realize it. We're at eight. Yeah, I'm just gonna let that one resolve. Yeah, bloop the lobster. I don't even know what that means. Two and two. That's pretty good. <sighs> That's all three of those. Cool. I'll be honest, I did not realize that they had uh, Blast Zone on two. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's nice. Stainful Stroke doesn't seem as good as it used to. How many cards do they have in their library? 27? This is the full Monty you're giving me here? Nah, I'll prevent you from doing that. You have three cards, and now I can Urtai something. So that feels good. Sure, I'll go to eight. Counter spell. Seems good. You got it. Four cards. Cycle. Resolve. What could they be? Is it just lands? Is it just junk? Three counters? Sure. Well, 
Well, they're out of blast zones. Sure. They're out of they're out of bring the endings, I think. One, two, three. Yep, that's all four of them. There are many secrets I don't know, but not for long. Thanks. I'll be taking Can I get a shield right here? Unfortunately, no, it seems. That can't block. Oh, it's got toxic, though. Oh, that's... That's a literal threat. Fudge. Fudge McMudge. You can't catch us. I think it may get unblockable next turn. That's not gonna do it. Okie dokie. Wow, what a grind. I think disdainful stroke is just probably worse than make disappear. Dies and we did not see any Lauren targets except for like. Arcane, but I don't even think that guy's that good. Might be better than Tilt. Tilt still draws us cards, though. This feels correct. I feel like that game was very close. You know what? Sure. <laughs> Raven Man's gonna go the distance here. Cut him down. To the surprise of no one. Beautiful. Exactly what we wanted to do. Sure. Can't do anything about that guy. Ooh. Old Rafini. You don't have death touch, do you? Oh, I actually think it is a disdainful stroke here. That's pretty good. Okie dokie. Now we get a bird, too. Make sure you cut something down, huh? Yep. Sounds good. Oh, Horde 1. Okay. I, for some reason, I was like, oh, they're not going to be able to do it. Uh, but I was thinking their, their total power and toughness was 5 exactly, so Ward would somehow affect that. That's yeah, not how that works, but...
Just making birds, me and the raven man. Okay. I have one card left and a million mana, huh? See my birds. I think we're just blocking this guy, right? That seems totally fine now that your blast zone's on three. Okay, three, two. Pretty good, pretty good. The only deck we lost to was the Atraxa deck, and um, I think it was the other Atraxa deck. Is that correct? No, I think I beat one of the Atraxa decks. It was the black red deck with Liliana and Soren. Yeah, that seems. That seems about right. Sweet. Really glad I got that Iron Claw Crusher and one two packs. Sounds good. 600 gems. Let's open these bad boys. Oh, I got four. I... Let's open them all. No one's got time for this one at a time nonsense. Oh, okay. Those are some friendlies. Yeah. Uh, this deck is interesting. I think it's actually better than I initially gave it credit for. I would like, God, I would like some spells or some more haymakers at least. Um, I think this guy's kind of underwhelming. Uh, I think Toulouse does not need to be a four of. I actually wonder. God, did I, yeah, I'm like, did I really do that? Legendary, let's look for creature. Uh, creatures, no, no lands. I don't. That's weird. That cost five, six, or seven plus. Elesh Norn might be interesting. Not a ton of triggers though. Yeah, not 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 a ton of end of the battlefield triggers. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I mean, is Junji better than AO? I'm not sure. Put a non-dragon from your graveyard on the battlefield under your control. Just get back Shieldred. Um, whereas this is, look at the top, seven cards, put any number of non-land permanents with total mana value four or less throwing them onto the battlefield. So again, that can hit Shieldred as well. Put 200 counters on each permanent you control that's a creature, which is also pretty good. Each opponent discards two and loses two. Yeah, I mean, not terrible. I don't think we actually want seven drops though, so we can cut that off. I, I don't just don't know if there's anything better at least four five for five with lifelink whatever non-token creature you control dies return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step that actually seems pretty decent as like a one or two of flying and lifelink might be better than flying and vigilance here as well so i would even i would even consider playing one of these over the 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 ls ill core because you just don't need this card just doesn't seem necessary but like there's so many times where you have five five or more mana and you just kind of want to play something and then once you get it down like you can obviously protect it with plaza of heroes so yeah i don't know interesting deck i, I liked it i thought it was fun and uh hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think thanks for watching i'll see you next time